I'm LaDonna Boyd presenting part two of unit three entitled Liberating Passover. This week's video covers the lessons for March 20th and 27th. The lessons come from the Master Teacher and Adult Christian Life book from R.H. Boyd. The lesson for March 20th is entitled The Celebration of Completion, and it comes from Ezra chapter 6, verses 13 through 22. Celebrations provide opportunities for people to rejoice after a difficult task. How can we celebrate and show thanksgiving to the person who made the victory possible? After the temple was completed, the Israelites celebrated God by sharing the Passover together. In today's society, we seem overwhelmed with the concept of being busy. Oftentimes, busyness is seen as a means to success or importance. This is certainly not the case all the time. Sometimes the smallest task can make the biggest impact. Each day, we should focus on taking small steps to becoming better people and, more importantly, better Christians. How do you celebrate your accomplishments? And how do you celebrate the accomplishments of others? Why is this important? It is okay to celebrate tasks we complete and the intention to use our accomplishments to reach further goals. We must celebrate God with joy for what we've been able to do because it is through Him that we've been able to accomplish these things. In this week's lesson, the Israelites celebrated the completion of the temple with Passover. Ezra recorded the completion and dedication of the temple and the keeping of the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. The temple was dedicated to the Lord by the offering of appropriate sacrifices as had been modeled by Solomon when he dedicated the temple, as we see in 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 63. The dedication was celebrated with joy. It was a victory celebration after a long and difficult battle. They had overcome their own sins, many oppositions from local groups, and challenges from government officials. Encouraged by the prophets, they had resisted the allures of the people who wanted to help them in building the temple. They obeyed what was written in the law, keeping themselves from the people of foreign nations. This lesson reminds us that nothing is impossible for God. Adversity in God's hands is merely an opportunity for Him to demonstrate that He is indeed God. We may not perceive these timeless truths in the moment of adversity, but rest assured that we will understand it all better further along. The lesson from March 27th is entitled, The Resolve to Remember, and it comes from Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 1-11. through 11. Over the course of our lessons this quarter, we've seen Israel lose it all, but we've also seen them recover their fortunes. God has literally taken them from rags to riches. However, we must also remember that while God allowed Israel to make a remarkable recovery, their failure was hinged to their unwillingness to obey God in the first place. Perhaps you can recall a time in your life in which you suffered needlessly because you failed to do the right thing the first time. How did this impact your life, both immediately and potentially long-term? Did this impact your decision-making skills going forward? Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 10 through 11 say, You shall eat your fill and bless the Lord your God for the good land that He has given you. Take care that you do not forget the Lord your God by failing to keep His commandments, His ordinances, and His statutes, which I am commanding you today. What do these scriptures mean to you? Israel is commanded to remember. There are a few specific things that Israel is commanded to remember, and note that these things may be episodes that are far less glorious and that Israel probably wanted to forget. Remember the long road. Israel is commanded to remember that God brought them via the long road to the land of promise. God is all-powerful and can bring us to desired ends in the blink of an eye, but God oftentimes does not do this. Could it be that He takes the long road or the scenic route for a reason? In our lesson, the writer points out that over the long road, Israel learned some strong lessons. For 40 years, Israel stayed in the wilderness, and during the season of humility and hardship, God still provided for His people. Have you ever had a season of humility? What did you learn along the way? Moses emphasized that the people were to keep the Lord's commands. They should not allow success to cause them to forget the Lord. Success could lead them to pride and thinking that their own efforts were the reasons for their achieving the things that they possessed. Have you ever been guilty of feeling this way as well? We must not let pride, greed, or envy cause us to stray from the Lord. We are often in our season of humility for a reason, and let those lessons not be learned in vain. Again, I'm LaDonna Boy, and I hope that you enjoyed this unit lesson. Consider the questions that you've been asked and share your thoughts with us on social media. You can tag us at rhboydco and use hashtag rhboydco to connect with other students. Check out our website, www.rhboy.com forward slash ACL Insider for additional resources. And please join us for our Christian Education and Leadership Conference, the Vision Conference, June 16th through 18th, right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Additional details are available on our website at www.visionconference.org.